Let's do it. All right. Welcome back to the IY Podcast. I got Baconator and my father, Chris Martinez. <laughs> How's it going, brothers? And What's we're up? trying to figure out what the fuck topic we're going to fucking talk about. And we got Jake here. Jake's a man in black. Watch out. You're in his way. He mm-hmm. looks He looks like so, uh, Johnny Cash, but... <laughs> yeah. We, we oh, voice yeah. him all, voice him over. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> you know... <laughs> but we got, we got Jake that looks like uh, Johnny here. Cash, but he's a lot younger and... <laughs> He's still alive. He, he doesn't really look like him. So, yeah, here we go. He doesn't really look like him, but he's here, damn it. <laughs> he's, but he's here, and he, he's, he's fucking here, man. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, whatever. So, you know, but... You know. I found my cigarettes. Well, so right. if you want one, you can have one. Okay. I owe you a couple, but... Well, that's all right. So, what, 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 okay, there you go, right there. What do you, what do you think about IOUs? What the fuck is an IOU? You just told him that. I owe you? Yeah. I, yeah. What do you, well, what do you consider? He gave me two cigarettes, so I own two. Oh, okay, so what, what What do you think about that shit? What well, if, what, 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 what normally if, I would do is like, you know, um, I'd say, hey, you know what? Bacon, shit. Keep, keep the buckers. Take the whole pack. <laughs> I just want one. You can have the whole pack. Yeah. You want it or not? No, 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 they're yours. Well, okay, so... We'll, we'll, we'll just call this the shirt off my back. Let's do, let's just do that. Okay, we call on. it the shirt off my back. <laughs> What's a cigarette? What would you do for you know somebody? A Klondike you know? bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. What would you do for a Klondike bar? No, you know. I mean, what would you do? You know, we talk about shirt off their backs. You know, I mean, it's like we talked earlier about family and stuff. You know, but let's um shit you know sometimes you know i feel like um like jake here you know we was talking earlier you know about a restaurant yeah a business uh-huh. you know you know here's here, we keep it simple like i said you know it's investing you, in yourself right you invest you got to invest in yourself so you, you got a vision if you can't invest in yourself you can't invest in nothing else yeah i mean that's bottom line yeah so you invest in yourself but here's the thing I told him I, when I retire, I got a, a, a vision. I got some money yeah. put you away, you know, my 401k plan, whatever. But what I would really like to do, my vision is when I'm done doing everything, yes, I like to cook. Everybody likes my food, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so, you know, Jake was here at the, the house today. So what I, what I say is, you know, hey, look, keep it simple. Maybe open up a restaurant, you know, maybe, maybe as big as our house you know just the bottom floor you know something like that you know but five sandwiches your favorite sandwich of whatever you like your five sandwiches all you get yeah you don't get a choice like subway or whatever any kind of restaurant i want onions i want this uh, <laughs> tomatoes and no you get what you get and there's a bag of chips and there's a goddamn pot machine go get your fucking pot what if i'm allergic to onions <laughs> Well, we're not putting onions in there. Well, what are you putting on? I might be allergic to someone. Some someone. <laughs> well, if you are, you know what? That's too fucking bad. No, you can't fucking do that. You no, know. I'm tired of people who are no, you self-proclaimed that. Oh shit. Um. Hey, by the way, I have a peanut got, allergy. Do we, <laughs> two seconds you, later, you, uh, you, uh, you got colitis. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you can't. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I have anal clock coming. No, up. Man, I just you, don't you, see you, my you, ass making it to work tomorrow. You, you got to make it clear that. You no, 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 your no. ingredients, and if people don't want it, then they got to, or if they're allergic or some bullshit, they got to make it clear. See that right there? There would be a sign. You see that? There's a menu. Yeah, there's a lot of wood there. Yeah. <laughs> the number one sandwich is called the Peppy, not the Reuben. We, we, we're going to name it the Peppy, not the Reuben. And there's Adrian's sandwich. We're going to do the, <laughs> the big pussy. The Adrian. We're going to put the, the big, big pussy. The big pussy. We're going to put the what, big pussy. What, what is the big pussy? My ass going to be the fucking Philly steak and cheese. Philly steak and cheese, Arby's. but it's called the big pussy. The big pussy. Yeah. The big and the bread's going to look like this. Okay. And it looks like the worst pussy you ever want to get into, but you still you want to eat it. <laughs> but you, just, you really, you don't want to tell nobody about it. You're not going to take pictures of it. And then you get a bag of chips and a fucking soda. Mm-hmm. So you don't get, you, the thing is, we talked about it. You don't do fountain machines because you got to get them maintained. And you gotta have somebody come in that's what I do. monthly. So we just put a big refrigerator, with, a huge one, with bottles, with glass. No, it's glass. 
Yeah, yeah, but bottles of pop. Yeah, you know, but no, but not bottles of cans. No, well, whichever. Bottles are they're, they're worse because people can get hurt with bottles, glass. So it's just cans of pop, um, Coke, Diet Coke, Pepsi, Cherry Pepsi, uh, Mountain Dew, you know, Sprite. But you know all this shit, a little Dude, variety. Shut the fuck down. Don't be a dipshit. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can go to a Sam's Club and get a big old fucking twenty four pack for five bucks. Yeah, they're 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 for business to business fucking yes. operations. That's what that's what they do. There, so that's like, what I'm know? trying to say. You know, just make it simple. A, a menu is go there. a sandwich, a pack of chips. Oh, we don't get the chips you want. Well, get the fuck out of here then. <laughs> Don't eat at my restaurant. But you know what? The sandwich is so good, they don't give a fuck what pop or what <laughs> chips they got because they, yeah. they're going to love eating that food. Oh, hey, I want Here a Coke, Coke well, right? Bullshit, you get a Fanta, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's what we were talking about. The more variety that people have, options they got, they take too much time trying to order. Explain it. Here's the deal. So you look at the menu, it's like, oh, well... I would like um, onions. My wife doesn't want onions on her sandwich, but I do. And then she just like black olives. I don't like black olives. Get the fuck out of here. Here's the sandwich. This is what you're getting. Boom, it's done. You go to Chicago. I'll tell you what, you go to Chicago. You go to Winky Dog. It's called Winky Dog. You go in there and you get the fucking Italian sandwich. The combination. You either get the uh, combination or you get the regular. Uh -huh. Combination has got a big old pull of sausage in there. Italian sausage with the fucking meat, the Italian beef. Otherwise, you just get beef pain. Yeah. You got two options. That's it. And you get a soda and you get a, a drink and you, you, or a, a pack of chips or maybe french fries if they cook them. Depends on who's cooking that day. And that's it. You walk in there and you get this, 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 and that. And boom, you're done. Mm -hmm. Next. Me and Johnny went in there. We first went there like 20 years ago. Yeah. And fucking Johnny got yelled at. Why? Well, because he was over there was like, uh, I'm not sure what I want. He's like, yeah. you know what you want? Get out of my line. Jeez. He yelled at him. Get the fuck out of my line. That's well, he, next. Place, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. And he goes, hey, next. Man. He's talking. So, That's a Chicago place. Yeah. Right? So he told him, he's like, get the fuck out of my line. So, But you don't want to be an asshole. Like no, that. but they... they do business every fucking day. They're, yeah, but you don't because you call somebody an asshole or get the fuck out of my line. It doesn't stop their business. Doesn't stop their business. They still produce. They've been in business for fucking twenty fucking years before we got there. Mm -hmm. Because he calls me an asshole or tells me to get the fuck out of his line. Oh, it's because I didn't know what I wanted. Now I now I know what I want. <laughs> now I know what I want. Yeah, I, I want that mean. that and that and boom. You eat it and you're fucking great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the next day you come yeah, back, yeah. I'll take the same thing I got yesterday without without an ass chewing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, minus the ass chewing, I don't want that. <laughs> you sit, you sit, home, sit down, get the fuck out. Huh? Yeah, but that's how it is. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely. So that's business, but business is. But you got to be nice to the people. But oh, don't yeah. get me wrong. If they really love your product, mm -hmm. if you, you know, like I said, you invest in yourself and your product, it doesn't matter if you talk to them bad, they're still going to come back for more. Yeah. They're still going to be there. Yeah. And, and so you... Bar none, bottom line, they're going to, they're still going to come back for yeah. more. So, so you do have a vision on what you want to do. What, what, what is it exactly? What do you, you want to do a sandwich shop, right? Oh, I love, yeah, I mean, everybody loves my cooking. I think they do. They say they do. Well, no shit, it's good. That, you know, so, yeah, I mean. So, what is your Eventually, yeah, that's what, what I want to do. I want to have what, a little shop. Okay, what are you going to have? Just, like, what kind of sandwiches do you want to have? Well, I have the Reuben sandwich for one. I love that. that Corned fucking, beef. Yeah, that motherfucker. Philly steak the, and cheese. The big, what do you call it? What would you, what would you call the Philly steak and cheese? What would it be his name? Big Pussy? Or would you you'd actually put Big Pussy? You'd, you'd call it Big Pussy. The big P, maybe. <laughs> the big, you don't want to go too far. Yeah, you want to have a family friendly. You put big P. Like, big we, P. we know what it means. Call we, it the we big know P. What, <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. all know what it's called the big P. Okay. And then my other sandwich, I love this one. So, you know, you take a, you, you boil the, the big brats, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. slice them in half. Yeah, yeah. And then grill them. And then put pepperoni and mozzarella cheese on them. Tremendous. And, 
Yeah, uh, well, we'll call it tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. We'll call it tremendous. Fucking tremendous. Yeah, know. that's the third sandwich. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? But you know, it, that that sounds great. But, you know, like... Uh, and then we might do something friendly like chicken. Would you like to... I don't really like chicken like in a sandwich. Yeah, me but, neither, but there's some good fucking chicken sandwiches. But, like... But would you want to make it into like a fucking food truck, or do you want to make it into a little small restaurant? Just a small little restaurant. restaurant. Not even a food. No truck. bigger than no bigger than the house. Like we got yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that big. So. We got like ten, maybe ten chairs or ten you know, tables. Yeah, yeah. That water. Hey, I already yeah. drank out of that water, dude. Did you? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, Straight so okay. Water. So how are you gonna make your vision a fucking reality? What do you? What steps are you gonna? <laughs> what, 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 drink it. What steps are you gonna take to fucking make Got it a reality? Water well, what I have to do is, like I said, when I retire, all that money I got, you know, I there, there's there, I got two options when I retire. I can either take that money and just keep it. I can give it to my kids, you know, or put, hold it back, or do what I wanted to do, my dreams. You should do that. And I have a buddy that, you know, he retired a couple of years ago. Had 40 years on the railroad, you know, and he was a good cook. He cooked all the time, you know, he was on the road, you know. And he's like, his food was really good, and I cooked food. And he's like, man, Peppy, Peppy, your fucking food is outrageous, man. It's fucking so good. You got to do this, man. You got to open your own little shop, you yeah, know. Yeah, and how many fucking people are telling you that you need to do yeah, it? Yeah, I know. And so... So what the fuck? What do you? What stop? What's you? holding me back right now? Yes. Uh, just, I still got to work. You know, I'm still you know working for my company. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean it's, it's an investment. Yeah, it is. Like you said, it's investing in yourself. It is. But it's an investment. You know, I, like, I got to buy a little fucking corner shop. Yeah. You know, pay the monthly bill, mm -hmm. and then get clientele and start producing it you know yeah, i can yeah. have jake come over every day i can have right bacon here. yeah me come over and, you know i mean it's, it's a you whole, know it's a whole you guys thing. i know you guys are gonna be my best customers yeah yeah we're a bunch but of you guys are gonna tell everybody else too yeah you know by word of mouth that's the best know? advertising you can have is word of mouth yeah exactly. fuck, fuck all the other bullshit you know advertising social media word, word of mouth is the best shit you can fucking have especially back in the day you know that was the fucking thing you know you fuck radio, you, word of mouth, Tommy's for restaurant here in Grand Island. <gasps> them motherfuckers don't advertise, do they? I never hear no advertisement. Everybody knows who the fuck they are. They've no, been I know Misty. They've been there. For they, they, years. yeah, they've been here for forty fucking years you, since you were a kid. Everybody goes there, they get fucked up, and they go there. But now they change their shit from twenty four hours to fucking whatever the fuck it is. Twelve hours. Yeah, it, it, it ain't shit. But I mean, I, I would think at least on the weekend you would want to stay open, you know, twenty four hours. But you know, they're word of mouth. They've been around forever. They don't need to fucking advertise. Yeah. Advertise what, they're, dick? They're, you know, they're they established. Yeah, they are. They're established. And that's what I'm saying. They don't need to. Word of mouth has been their fucking thing. And that can be your fucking thing, too. That's what I want, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can vision it. I know what I want. I can see it in my head. Yeah. You know, a nice little shop. Like I told Jake, I said, in the corner, I got a big old fridge, a huge one. Size of this ball, big old cool fucking and, and, and the old, uh, glass doors. You can see everything in there, all the pops mm -hmm. you want. Mm -hmm. oh, but I, I don't like. I told him, I said I don't do the you know fountain shit because somebody's gonna have to maintain it. They're yeah, gonna have and to. That's that's what I do. I yeah, I know, but see, every, every I eliminate that. You don't want yeah. that. So you that's a different cost that you don't have to have. Yeah, that's these two hundred and fifty dollars a month. Well, yeah. Shit. So then you got so you got bags of chips. Okay, so I got a big old fucking counter. Have oh, a chip rack, yeah. How many varieties? Chip rack, yeah. What varieties? And then here's five sandwiches. Five sandwiches. So you're going to get your sandwich, you're going to get your chips, and get a pop, and it's eight bucks. Yeah. I, and boom. I, yeah, it's I, simple. Yeah, and I, I believe you can do I'm it. not going to tell you, okay, well, we're not going to uh, get onions on this or tomatoes. It's simple. Yeah. It's a simple menu, and this is what you get. So when you ate your Reuben sandwich today, what would you get? Thousand Island them. dressing, rye bread, Submarine Swiss cheese. Sauce. Boy, you got Swiss cheese. Motherfucker, you have onions on it. No man, he didn't have no fucking you and know nothing what? else. And guess what? 
It was fucking tremendous. Fucking tremendous. Fucking tremendous. Yeah, fucking that's going to be the other sandwich called the tremendous. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, it's just simple. It was fucking, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. That's all you need. You don't need a bunch of bullshit. But I mean, I, I believe you can do it. if you. Really Tyler can. ate fucking two of them, Bacon. Dude, Tammy Tyler, ate two of them. Tyler ate one in one fucking minute. He ate his sandwich before, <laughs> before I even... He inhaled it. Before I even got one, that motherfucker ate it. Take a breath. I told him. I was like, I was like motherfucker, That's you what ate he that did. shit. He inhaled it. I was it. like, you ate that shit before I even got mine, you fat fuck. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck? You know? Because it was so fucking good. But I, yeah. I ate like two and a half of them. But it takes them. time, Bacon. It takes time. And you know what? You know what else it takes? Hmm. It takes a person that makes it. My mom always told me this. You know, all her stuff that she makes, her enchiladas, her tamales, all her stuff. I can make beans. I can make beans in a crock pot and refry them and shit. They don't taste like my mom's. Mm -hmm. Same ingredients, same everything. Salt, pepper, fucking blah, blah, blah. And the whole nine yards? What it is, the is it's a person that makes it. Yeah. It's love. It it's fucking something that they do, something special. You can do this. You can mimic what my mom does with bait, beans. My, my Actually, my dad makes the beans. I can mimic whatever he does. It won't taste the same. Hmm. For whatever fucking... Does it taste reason. some reason my mom's beans taste better than mine's? Hey, hmm. Peanut loves it, eating my beans, you know, when I refry them and everything. And she makes them with fried eggs. And she'll put some, you know, no disrespect. She'll put bacon on it. <laughs> yeah, no no put, offense, no, bacon. No, no offense, bacon. Offense, she'll offense, put bacon on it, you know. No. I'm like, oh, this morning, dude. I tell you what, I had the biggest, I mean, my the breakfast she made this morning. I went down there. Oh, God. What'd she have? She fried bacon. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm, she no, fried no. bacon. Not you. Sorry, she sorry. fried bacon. She made some fucking sunny side eggs. Oh, fuck. And, 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 and beans. And fried some... Uh, Toasted tortillas, you know. Just oh up. God, I ate that. And I'm like, shit. I didn't. I didn't want to eat again today. Yeah. Oh, it was so fucking good. But yeah, I mean, Did I can make the same make... shit, but it won't taste the same as my yeah. mom's. Did she used to make that for you when you were a kid? Oh fuck, every day. Jesus, you. She fat. cooked every day. How are you? How are you not a fat fuck? I would just want to eat all the fucking time. How? how... No, I'm talking about when you're a kid. You weighed oh, like, God, one, I was one a... fucking ten when you graduated. Jesus. Yeah. Like, how are you not a fat fuck eating her food? Like, what the oh, fuck? I, was... I would be fucking overweight as fuck. Man. It was like, so good, though. The one thing about my mom. What, 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 let's do the moms. What? So my mom, you know, she was, um, yeah, she, you know, my dad was always working on the road. You know, when I was a kid on the railroad, you yeah. know, he was gone. Union Pacific. But. Group. She would always, you know, she had a full-time job. So, but in the morning, she would make everything. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then she put it in the refrigerator, you know. When you get home at noon, you want, you know, put it in the microwave, warm it up. When you get home at night, here's the food, too. Supper. You know, warm it up and eat it, you know. But she made all the meals for us every day. Hmm. You know, we, we never went without I mean, it might be a one day, you know, here, eat cereal, but it was always bacon, eggs, and beans, and rice, and, you know, pork and chili and shit every day. Yeah, that, that, that's a good We game. never, you know, it was never a moment that we didn't go without good fucking food. And and when I was a kid growing up, I'll tell you what, we was over there playing over at Lincoln Park. Yeah, yeah. And my mom would be cooking supper. Or grilling on the fucking stove, you know, and everything. And the windows will be open, and, and we smell, smell it over there. Hmm. And my mom's like, Get my eight! Come on, eight! And you fucking knew. And my friends were like, Oh man, that smells so fucking good. Mm -hmm. My friends were like, Shit, can I come eat dinner with you? I'm like, I don't know. Probably not. Mm -hmm. But some of my friends would, you know, cousins would come over, and oh, um, my mom would feed everybody, you know, when we was kids too, the same thing, you know. So, but, but it just smells so good, you know. You, you just can't replace that smell. Yeah. So does I mean like you you really fucking move around a lot? Like, did you, were you like that when you were a kid? Like, you know how you don't you, you need to sit down right now. You 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 don't like to sit. You know, I mean that, that has to do with something about you not being a fat fuck. You know, like you like to fucking move around. I'm you not know, a you, sitter. You don't sit down, and 
You know, why is that? You got ADHD or some fucking shit or, you know, what is, what is the fucking deal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Top right. <laughs> right in Nathan's piss. Yeah. You want to hand me that agua? Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, yeah. I mean, yeah, my mom, you know, the, the, the teachers, you know, said uh, he's pretty hyperactive, you know. Yeah, yeah. Put him on Ritalin. Back in the day, it was Ritalin. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, like... Uh, um, Adderall. Different, yeah, Adderall and shit like that, you know. But mm -hmm. my mom's like, you know, we're not gonna put him on that. The answer was back then was a good ass whipping. <laughs> Boy, you ain't gonna listen. You ain't gonna fucking pay attention to school. Well, we'll just have to whip the shit out of you, you know. And you know, whatever, it worked for a little bit. But yeah, that medicine wasn't good, but. Yeah, and that's where I got to the point where you know, like I said, you know, is and d does that have a lot to do with you? Like, not you, you just don't really like to, you don't trust no one. You, you I mean, it's just kind of like you don't like to, you don't feel comfortable around people. No, I trust people. I do. I mean, the thing is, I'll trust you to a certain extent. Yeah, but you don't like to. But if you, you fucking if you take advantage of me, I'm done with you. But I mean, like, you don't like to have people behind you like me neither i, I get that shit from hey, Chris, you I, I don't like that you told shit. me a long time when you go to a restaurant you keep your back up against the wall yeah on point all the time. i want to so see what about? everybody else is yeah. doing yeah and that's how i am too i got that shit from you I, I don't like i like to be in the corner i don't like motherfuckers behind me i don't i really don't i never like that shit i don't like people behind me no i don't either but but i mean like it's not a trust issue it's just a comfortable issue yeah, because, you know, like, people behind you staring right at the back of your head, it's just like, it just don't feel right. My dad would always tell me, Chris, goddammit, sit down. I'll be walking back and forth, back and forth, you know, pacing. He's like, you're going to wear my carpet out. And you still do that shit to this day, because, you know, because I talk to Nathan and Papa, they always say the same shit. You just, you're just like your dad. You don't like to fucking sit down. You just want to fucking, no. you just want to walk back and forth. I was like. Even yeah. my roommate last week. <laughs> you know, we were watching Martin, you know, on TV and shit, yeah, yeah. you know, turned it on. It, it, and I was sitting like this, you know, by the, my bed. Yeah. He's like, sit down and watch TV. I'm like, yeah. no, I'm good. I just sit right here like this. You just don't even want to sit down. No, I hate sitting down. I hate laying down because when I do that, I'm going to bed. But yeah, you know, and when it's time, I was like, fuck, I'm out. Yeah. What, I'll go to bed, but what, you know, I just did from okay. So even you know, even normally, like you know, not not on nothing, yeah, at all. You know, like right now, you know, just having some beers and having cigarettes and shit. Fuck. But like, I can stay up for two days. Yeah, and I won't go to bed. You'd be fine. Yeah, and what, I'm good. But. What, what what makes I don't know what drives me that way, you know. It's that's just, what I want to know, like what drives. Well, what drives me is, you know, it's something to look forward to. Yeah. You know. Like, Sometimes it's a, you know, like, like this morning, you know, Misty's like, oh yeah, baby girl's coming over, so that drove me. Yeah. I want to see a little girl, and she can give me a big old hug, you know, and we're talking and hanging out and just being friends together, you know, and. But what drives that drives me. To see her and hang out with her, you know, a little bit, you know, and just want to yeah. see her smile on her face, you know. And yeah, I see what this you Papa, mean. this Papa, you know, and that what, makes me happier than fuck, but. What, what the fuck drives you to, like, have to make sure everything's a certain way, like, every dish is done, every laundry is done, every fucking. Well, that's OCD, but that's what, different. What, what, did you gain that from your military experience? But, or, you know. Or your it, Navy experience? Well, it happened before that, you know, when I was a kid, because like, where did they I always made my bed every day. Yeah. You know, and it upsets me when people don't do that. Yeah. You know, that's why I told you, Adrian, clean your goddamn room, you know. And it's not even and, dirty. And, as and I could just shut the door, shut the door and block it out, but it's still in my head. I'm like, goddamn, I know this <laughs> fucking bed ain't made. I know he ain't fucking cleaned his goddamn floor up. Yeah, I yeah. hate shit that don't. Shit that don't belong in a certain place. Yeah. Everything has a place. Your mom used to do that shit. She'd come home from work, you know, when we first started dating and started got married. But yeah, she'd fucking take her fucking purse and 
she just throw it on the fucking kitchen table. Yeah. And I'm like, God damn it. Fucking put it in your goddamn room. <laughs> I don't want to see that shit on her. You know, your no. coats. I don't know. It's just different, but... But, I mean, like, what? how does that tie back to you, like, with being, you know, just... I mean, how, how, how does that... How, how does that make you view the whole world? Like, you feel like everything has a place? Well, everything um, does have a place, you know, but... Because, I mean, you think, like, little shit like You that, get older, you can't control that, but... Because, I mean, like, from <clears throat> just even that, having, like, a place. Like, do you think that everything has a fucking place? Just even with little fucking bullshit, like, you know, purse or laundry, dishes, all that bullshit. Do you think everything has a place? Yeah, everything does have a place, but... <clears throat> you know, you just... I guess, you know, you get over it, you know. I mean, it's not that I'm over it, but it's just, it irritates me, you know. And I like cleaning stuff up, you know, and doing, you know. Well, I know, you'll fucking mop the fucking kitchen floor three times a day and it don't even need it, you know. You'll do that kind of shit. Well, it to doesn't me, need it. To, to fucking, to it me. Does need hey, it, hey, 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 to me, it don't fucking need dick. But to you, it needs it three times. And that's what's, that's what's crazy. Like, your mind is different. Like, it works like... you. you well, see, yeah, everybody's you, mind's no, different. No, 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 no. But you, like, you, you see these little specks or these little things, and you're like, fuck, that's disgusting. But to me, I don't even see it. Yeah, it doesn't matter to you. 